Welcome to HHTV Sport. Here are the results so far. The fencing has been won by King Henry VIII. Jousting was won by Henry VIII. The archery has been won by King Henry VIII. The tennis was won by King Henry VIII. Probably playing himself. And the making cobblestones with a steel hammer, it's King Henry VIII. What a king. But the big question is, can he repeat his victory in the wrestling? And you join us here. Henry, our monarch, is really mangling this opponent. Oh, power slam. And his opponent is not even a wrestler. That guy is just a spectator who said Henry was only winning because people let him. <laughs> Thing against sunshine. Regal wrestling brilliance. Your majesty. Yeah. The King is a fantastic athlete and is about to compete in today's biggest sporting event, the wood sawing. But first up, here's what he had to say when I caught up with him earlier today. Confident? Well, there are no easy matches in competitive wood sawing. But yes, I am confident about everything. Oh, any game plan for the match ahead? Well, my plan was to saw the wood in half. Stop me if I'm getting too technical. What have you done to train for this event? Tell me. I've mostly just been sawing things in half. Now, do you know what this is? That's my saw bottom. That's a competitive woodcutter's joke. <laughs> well, you can't be good at everything, can you? Contenders, ready! Make a plank! And his way, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, and King Henry taking an early leave there. Just look at that magnificent technique, like he was born with a rudimentary woodcutting device in his hand. Forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. He's going through that piece of wood like it was, um, well, a piece of wood, only really fast. Oh, and there it is, the crown in glory. Let's see that again. Forget Henry VIII. You've just witnessed Henry the First. Magnificent. Yep. Still boring. I'm the best at everything. I think it's his humility that makes him so popular. Right. You, wrestling, now. That really will be a sore bottom. It's my Big Fat Tudor wedding, and this week Big Fat Tudor Henry is getting married again after the death of his third wife, Jane Seymour, if Chief Minister Thomas Cromwell can talk him into it. Her name's Anne of Cleves. She's a nice Protestant girl. Oh, I don't know, Crummers. I've only just lost my third wife, Jane Seymour, and now I've got the male heir I want. I'd need a pretty good reason to marry someone else. Well, how about to secure an alliance against the Pope and to ensure the survival of the Church of England? No, I mean, you know, she'd have to be well fit. Well. Oh, she hasn't got a younger sister, has she? Um, yes. <sighs> All right, I'll have that one. Good choice, sir. With the portrait of Anne having done the trick, it's time for Henry to meet his bride. Now remember, she's German, so quite straight-laced. Don't worry, I've done this before. Ready, boys? Oh, yeah. yeah. No, 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 please. The entire English Reformation depends upon this marriage, sire. And room raid, room raid, room raid, room raid, room raid. <laughs> it's me, your new husband. Oh. Oh. Anne's not impressed. And neither is Henry, but the wedding plans are well underway. She looks nothing like her portrait. Well, to be fair, sire, neither do you. I mean, your legs are thinner, your belly is much fatter now, and your... Do you like your head where it is, Crummers? Yes. Good. Unable to wiggle out of the wedding, Henry says, I do. Congratulations, sire. England! Is safe! Yes, unlike your head. What? Oh, no, please. Anne, there's something I wanted to say. The thing is... It's not you, it's me. Hang on, I was going to say that. I guess I'm just not the marrying sort. I mean, you're clearly a nice person. I was going to say that, too. So great. How about a quick divorce? Perfect. I'll get my people onto it. 
Crikey. Who's that? Hello. Next week, my big fat tutor wedding. Henry gets married again to Anne's former lady-in-waiting, Catherine Howard. And the week after that, he'll probably marry someone else. Again. Bad news for Catherine. True to form, Henry had her executed and married his sixth wife, Catherine Parr. But good news for her, she managed to outlive Henry. Result! It's drippy, it's soppy, and you need a copy. Order it now. Some are lucky in love. They meet the woman of their dream and they spend the rest of their life with them. Others just chop their heads off. King Henry is back looking for the next, next special one in his life. The specially special, special one. Hi, 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 hi. How's it going, Henry? Jane Seymour. No. Look, I'm uh, sorry if I don't seem in a great mood. Uh, just getting over a pretty tough breakup. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You must be heartbroken. Yeah, well, to be fair, it's hard on her. I mean, she is in bits. Look, do you want to get married? I need a male heir. Pretty sharpish. Yeah? Great. Check. Henry, you look really happy. Well, I am. Really happy. Um, she's the best one yet. She's a winner, a keeper. Not a divorcee, not a, you know, choppy. She's a, a keeper. And she's brilliant at real tennis. Fantastic drop shot. <laughs> Good times. I hope. Yes. She died. Yeah. Pretty upset about that, actually. King Henry is back. Blah, 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 yada, yada. Special one in his life, blah, blah, you know. Hey, how's it going? I'm not Henry VIII. Oh, the wrong restaurant. Taxi! Henry, tell us what happened. Uh, so we kind of had to get married in the end. Uh, politics. But uh, we got divorced straight after, and I've given her a bunch of properties so she can live off the rent, and uh, it's all uh, pretty much cool, basically. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'm straight back in for the next one. Which could be the one, or the uh, third, or fourth. Which one is it? Everyone is looking for that special one in their life. And for a king, they must be royally special. Welcome to historical first dates. Henry VIII of England has arrived for his first date. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty nervous, but uh, they tell me she's fit. Catherine is a princess of a powerful country, and a devout Catholic. I just pray she's good at real tennis. I'm Henry. Catherine. Oh, oh no. no! She is also Henry's dead brother's widow. Seriously, does no one check if the dates were married to your brother? Surely that's page one, along with does she play real tennis? Oh, it's a bit of a non-starter, isn't it? I mean, the Tudor church doesn't even recognize in-laws as a thing, so you're actually my sister. And this is not ancient Egypt, so... <laughs> yeah, it's a total disaster. I am the daughter of the most powerful king in all of Europe, and there's just not that many people my Spanish father would be happy with me marrying. Your brother was perfect. Till he died. Yeah, although, I mean, you guys weren't married that long, were you? See. Si? See, this is true. I mean, I could ask the Pope to say that you weren't married long enough for it to count. Kind of like the full second rule, when you drop a biscuit on the floor or a piece of salami. Yeah. I mean, he's bound to agree. How hard can this be? OK. Then, brother, we shall be married. Maybe drop the whole brother thing there, yeah? Will do. So it went pretty well? See, si, see, si, I shall be marrying the heir to the throne of England again. I mean, uh, for the first time. Um, the other first time did not count. <laughs> Good time, sis. I mean, wife, not sis. It's true. Henry did manage to bend the rules so that his brother's widow, Catherine of Aragon, could become his wife. They had a daughter called Mary, but Henry wasn't happy. He wanted a son to be king after him. He was very hard to please. I mean, just watch him getting ready for bed. Right. 
An early night, I think. Sleepy Henry VIII after another hard day's ruling over everything. Yes, good idea, sir. An early night. Just get the list, Your Highness. Step one, check for assassins. <laughs> Clear! Step two, lay down a bed of down. And three, check that no one is hidden inside. <laughs> Clear! Step four, lay pillow, sheets and blankets and a luxury urban cover. <laughs> Step five, all make the sign of the cross. Step six, all kiss the royal bed. Uh, yes, all right. That's fine. Step seven, sprinkle with holy water. Goodness sake! I just want to go to sleep. Whose idea was all this nonsense? Your sire. Just give it here. Whip through these. Step eight, bring near the royal night stool. Step nine, lay out the royal dressing gown. And finally, step ten, build a solid brick wall to prevent intruders getting anywhere near me as I sleep. Come on! I... Ah! Bliss. Oh.